so right now what we have is we have disk or uh, now we want to increase the basically we want to increase the little NTLizing so I'm just going to increase the multi sampling okay click on select close and um, what you have to do now I'm going to create one spear and uh, I'm just going to increase the radius of it and uh, I don't want to I don't want that much subdivision level so I'm going to just decrease it to 8 and uh, I'm going to delete the bottom face okay and um, soft selection activated using B and uh, I'm just going to scale it from the middle okay fine and I'm going to smooth this press 3 and just go to modify convert smooth mesh preview to polygon okay so this, this step is important or you can directly take a half sphere or spine like or suppose if I want to change this thing I think I want to little bit change the bottom vertices and I want to just make it little up and the upper vertices also Once you are satisfied with this, just go to modify, convert and uh, just click on smooth mesh preview to polygon. This is our first step. And next what you have to do, whatever poly models you have taken, just make sure you have to do two things. You have to go to modify and freeze the transformation. This is first step. So we are going to get the default value over here. And secondly, we don't want any extra history. So just delete the history, delete by type or delete all by type, just delete all the history. This two things we have to do. And for the rent, I'm just going to duplicate this stuff and I'm just going to tip it on the top for the rain area and the bottom surface, I'm just going to scale it. And once again, I'm just going to freeze the transformation. Okay. So Now I don't want this to be visible in the camera so just take it on the top and this is our scene like so next so in this example I want a ring from this particular disk on the top so I've just selected that particular disk now what you have to do just go to end particle and use this ammeter, the ammeter and before that just make sure you are using point this is important and you can use this ammeter instead of this so just say create ammeter so now we want emit form object basically so just click on emit form object and here we want surface so just reset the setting so here just change to the surface and particle rate I'm just going to reduce to 10 and um, activate scale rate by object size so there will be a density in the particle and just say create and now check now what is happening so it's very dense particles coming we don't want that much dense particle so once again I'm just going to the ammeter just click on scale rate by object speed and now check playback speed play every frame and now I'm just going to increase it to let's say 100 and just check it out what is happening now to increase the particle speed what you have to do simply just increase the gravity that's all so if you just increase the gravity then there will be no issue Okay, so just increase the gravity. Now I want a strict. So inside n particle, 
just uh, search for the shading so instead of point we are going to text trick and now if you just check you know, what is happening okay so if you want to increase the speed just increase the gravity suppose if i increase the gravity to 15 so you can see the particle speed is going to increase simple okay now i want this object and i want little more dense particle so inside emitter if I say scale it by object size then and suppose if I just reduce to 5 and now just check it now what is happening it is very very dense ok so and we don't want this space too much so just reduce to three and just check it out okay and we don't want this straight particles so i'm just going to reduce basically i'm just selecting the end particle and um, just activate the turbulence and now inside turbulence just make sure attenuation is 0 magnitude is 5 magnitude is 5 and now if i just check it what is happening so rain okay little variation you know little bit variation not too much but little bit of variation so you can add um, gravity for this speed and turbulence for little variation we don't want you know very straight particles fine next what we want is um, basically collision so if, if you are using n particle and uh, this emitter so for this collision purpose you can use this two object and just uh, apply your uh, inside go to just n cloth and inside over here you can just apply passive collider just activate that whatever the default setting you have just reset it and just say mech collide done so now you have two rigid body so this and this and now if i just play and check you know it's going to collide and it's going to react it accordingly okay next what we want after it, it collides we want uh, to convert this particular particle to multiple particles like multi multi string basically we want to convert this uh, normal strike to a multiple strike and we want our original particle should die for that purpose just select a particle and uh, go to your uh, end particle and now we have particle collision event editor inside here what you have to do we want to uh, add extra particle to just click on emit another particle and we want original particle should die just activate this two command and create the event done next now see what happens this particular particle another particle is generating we want this particular particle and particle to multi strike And, uh, and now just check it out you know what is happening and uh, I just want to reduce the density of the particle let's say 1.5 as per your system just you can reduce and increase and just reduce you know and just check it out what is happening so this is how you can do and um, additional thing that you need to do you have to activate your hardware fog if it is supported and then it's done like you know so it's very good like and now you can animate your camera you can take an, another camera just go to create and um, I'm just going to add an another camera and um, 
just go to panel perspective and just look at from that particular camera angle and now I'm going to animate that camera so this much I think is sufficient this parallax is sufficient so what we want we want to start my scene from here so from 53 I'm going to start the rendering process so I want my camera animation to start from let's say 53 okay so inside camera I'm just going to activate uh, the attribute of the camera using control A and um, if I just press S so my key will going to get selected and uh, on around 100 frame what we want is just rotate the camera a bit and you can just little zoom no we want a parallax also so a little parallax you know instead of just zoom in zoom out you can use a little parallax from 53 onward we have our little animated camera and uh, if you have like a proper um, character with you then it's like it's going to look awesome okay at a certain point of time suppose if you want your particles should die so you can do that also but uh, that you have to see you know how much you want so inside lifespan instead of forever you can say random range and uh, over here also you can just click on uh, random range and then you have to just check it out key how much this you want like so let's say around one particle may be dying on that particular frame only if i stop it and just go to panel perspective and uh, if, if i just check it out you know what is happening over here if i just play and check it and if i just uh, turn off the hardware fog so you can see you know what is happening so we need to increase this particular amount so let's say if i just increase it to 10 and now if i just play and check okay so 10 is too much so if i just say 8 life forever will do but um, it's going to be very heavy you know so much of particles so you want your part particle to die at a particular time so just uh, work on this I think this is also too much 8 is also too much so I'll just try with 5 5 is also too much I'll just say 3 3 is also going proper so if I just say 2 random range let's say 2 and 1.5 particles should die now if I just check it ah, I think it's sufficient for me I think this particle now I'm going to take the play blast okay so just go to perspective camera 1 and uh, over here I'm going to activate my hardware fog and uh, if you want to ch change any setting in the hardware fog so you can just go to viewport 2.0 and um, just uh, search for the hardware fog option from here so you can just check it out how much fog you want and what the color and the transparency all this thing you can adjust from here the color also so whatever color you want so you can just uh, change it like so it's up to you like no? light dark okay this is going fine so now I'm just going to use play blast and um, just go to the attribute make sure format is quick time codec s264 and um, all the attributes are like same 
and uh, where I want to save this particular file. So I'm going to use my computer online or upload. Dragon FX. So today is 16. 16, 9, 20. FX. Okay. See, save. And now you can just say play blast and you have to submit this particular file basically. Okay, 